Yo, 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 what the deal? It's your boy X dot E dot L dot O. Welcome back to the channel. Thank you for coming back. Yes, you, thank you for coming back. But if you are new here, please do me a favor and like, subscribe, hit that bell notification. And I'll let you know when I drop another video. Today, we'll be going over the Antelope Zen Go. This is in a higher range of audio interfaces. This is one of those uh, interfaces that a lot of people talk about that they use in big studios. I'm gonna actually go over it, check it out, see what it's about. Let's go. All right, so here is the top of the interface. It's actually uh, not that big, it's a little bigger than my hand. I like the big knob here. You have some buttons on the top here. You have a gain button. So this is for your uh, inputs. Uh, this is for your headphones and your monitor. And this is to bring it back to the, the beginning screen here with this button, all right? And down here you have two headphones. So you have a headphone one and a headphone two. And on the back, you have your uh, mic line ends. You have your monitors, so your left and your right. And you also have an unbalanced one or RCA one. And you have like your in and out to go out to like uh, ADATs. And you have your USB-C and you have a power USB-C on here as well which is really cool, which means you can kind of extend it out to other things. Uh, let's power it on and see how it looks. All right. And it has like a little antelope on the screen there, and then it comes back to the regular main screen. Um, all right. And if you actually play something, you should see the meters move. You can see the meters moving on the device. It's very dark, and I don't know why. Um, I even went through the setting to change it, and it still seems to be kind of dark. So I'm not 100% sure why uh, that is, that it's actually dark on here. All right, so I was able to get uh, everything kind of set up on here. I'm gonna go to this um, antelope. This is what it comes up with. It'll show you your device. If you have any plugins for like your uh, mic preamps and your system here, uh, here's like your little login and settings. So what you really wanna do is click on, we have the little picture of the interface or you can hit on this mixer part, either one of those. So I'm gonna click on that to bring up the actual interface. All right, and this is what the audio interface for the Zengo looks like. So you have like your preamps in the front here, you have your computer playback, and you have your other outs, and another type of mic line in uh, down here as well. And you have an option to go to like the 16 tracks. I'm not 100% sure what they connect to or how they connect, but they are down here where you can actually do that on here as well. Let's say you wanted to add um, some effects on your preamp, you can click inside this little black section here and it'll give you an option to add custom presets if you wanted to do custom ones or you can add your own effects that come with this device. I think this is one of the more unique ones where you have all your effects inside of this, this pull up interface. So like all your effects are in here. So you don't get any effects that'll go to like your regular computer. They're all inside of the Zen Go. Uh, it all intertwines with each other. This is kind of, you know, different for, um, for me. Uh, you know, you have your monitoring down here. So this is your monitors. You can dim them, you can mute them. Uh, here's your headphones one here. You can dim it or mute it. And you have your headphones two in this little section right here on the side. So you click on that and it'll bring you to your headphones to volume uh, for the device as well. All right, and up here is like the, where the mic and headphones kind of monitor section is. So to turn on your 48 volts, you have to go here to do it. So you have to hold down control and then click on it. And that will actually turn on the microphone for the device. So now you can see the meters. I can actually hear myself. And uh, I guess it's given a, um, direct line back. I'm not sure if there's a way to turn that off or not. I don't think this device has a very loud setting for it. Like I haven't been able to really push loudness out through here. Like as you see, my headphones is, is pretty high, at least according to this. Um, if I turn it all the way up, I kind of hear like some fuzz, but it is not as loud as my old audio interface. Uh, or any of the other audio interfaces that I've actually used so far. Uh, it does sound clean and, cr and crisp, but it's just not as loud as those other uh, audio interfaces. All right, so I'm gonna move this out of the way. Um, you also get an option to kind of link 
your two mics because you have two mic line in so you can link them together and they'll turn both of them on all right and i think that's um pretty much it in a nutshell so this audio interface is mostly run with this software it's a very software driven audio interface unlike the rest of them where you actually have knobs for pretty much everything this one has just one knob you have an option to click and change where you want to focus that attention for this device. Uh, but with that being said, let's actually get in here, record something. Let's go. Check. Check. <laughs> When I split splatter your chit chatter, I rip rappers, it don't matter. This fat bastard causes disasters, my sound waves like water. Flooding the streets, now a cat from the hood can get a chance to eat. I break down the barriers just to get in the mix. Trying to hold the industry, lock it down like a pit with a fierce bite. I stab you in the neck with a knife. I'm like a psychopath killer when I get on the mic. All right, and I have to say, I really like the way it sounds when I was actually doing it. It felt right, it felt good. Everything seemed to be kind of pristine. Uh, so let's hear it back and hear how it sounds with the beat. Uh -huh. Yes, sir. <laughs> let's go, another one, yeah. Now when I split splatter your chit chatter, I rip rappers, it don't matter. This fat bastard causes disasters, my sound waves like water. Flooding the streets, now a cat from the hood to get a chance to eat. I break down the barriers just to get in the mix. Trying to hold the industry, lock it down like a pit with a fierce bite. I stab you in the neck with a knife. I'm like a psychopath killer when I get on the mic. All right, so what do you guys think? I think it sounds very, very good. Um, is it worth that uh, price range? That I'm not 100% sure, at least for not what I do. Um, I'm not a huge fan of everything being inside of the software in order to actually do stuff, like to have effects and to do like the pre-mic and pre-amp and turn on the, the voltage for the microphone itself. I'm not a really big fan of that uh, at all. But I mean, otherwise, I don't have any issues with this device. I really like the way it sounds. Um, I don't think that it's loud enough, at least not for me, because I like stuff really loud, <laughs> especially uh, like in my headphones when I'm listening back to stuff. And it seems like I have to push this all the way to the, the end just to even get it to come through uh, really crisp. Like I need a preamp for my headphones using this, um, which is not something I really want to do. I don't really want to preamp uh for the headphones outside of the audio interface uh, especially when i listen to like the volts the, the 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 uad volts those are just loud right out the box no issues or problems the mini fuse was the same way so uh this one is 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 here is down the line uh but um i say it's uh i think it's pretty good for what it is if you're a person that just wants to use a lot of software uh I would say this is probably the way you want to go. Uh, it, this is um, a lot of professionals actually use the antelope stuff. So it is very good software, very good quality. So that would be up to you if you decided to actually spend that extra to get this type of device. But with that being said, that's pretty much the end of this video. And once again, it's your boy, x.e.l.o. Until next time, people. Peace.